as we talked yesterday about Memphis being named the preseason number one team in the American Athletic Conference, talked about the stadium renovations beginning to take place, uh, knocking out one of the walls over there at Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium, building up. The hope is that it is not too late for stadium renovations like that to help aid in the eventual adding of Memphis to one of these bigger conferences or just ensuring that Memphis does not get left out when even talking about the Big Ten now being 18 schools and just the largeness of how things are getting separated at this point with the ACC. They are the conference in the most trepidatious times of those four right now it feels like the Big 12 is, is pretty settled obviously the SEC and the Big Ten are at the top of that game but the ACC continues to deal with are Florida State and Clemson going to be members of the ACC and we talked about the grant of rights uh, quite a bit when it started becoming apparent that Florida State and Clemson want out of the ACC because they looked around at all the money that the schools in the Big Ten and the SEC are making and they said we want that. We're not getting that in the ACC. Problem is they signed this grant of rights deal within the ACC that all the schools unanimously signed and it would cost them over $500 million to leave the conference. So Commissioner Jim Phillips has kind of been a little bit on the quieter side or the demure side of conference commissioners, but he spoke at ACC Media Days and said, essentially, we will fight to protect the ACC and our members for as long as it takes. Uh, forceful moments deserve forceful support and leadership. He went on to remind everyone that everyone willingly signed the grant of rights, eagerly agreed to this television contract. But if you're Memphis, I think you're sitting here and hoping that some way, somehow, Clemson and Florida State find a way out and find a new home in one of the other conferences and that the ACC starts to scramble. It's not a very fun place for Memphis to be. You're hoping for the downfall of something that will weaken the ACC in general, but you want, you just want a seat on the boat. You, the Titanic is sinking and you just want a seat on the lifeboat, but they're really nice lifeboats. They're really expensive lifeboats. They're lifeboats that are going to preserve your place within the overall community of college football for the test of time. And you just need a seat, just one. Yeah, that's, uh, you can hope for that. And I think that's a wasted hope and you'd be better served trying to find some other workaround. If those schools leave, and I'm, I'm Boston College, you're Virginia, would you want to work with Memphis, right? Or would you want to just keep that money to yourself? Because you're adding more schools in, and that's, that can be well and good if that school is going to bring you in the money that you lost from the schools leaving. And is, Memphis isn't going to bring in, them loss, in, bring in the money that Florida State and Clemson are leaving with. They just aren't is, is a completely different type of thing when you talk about Clemson and Florida State pillars of college football right now blue bloods in college football right now in Memphis it just it just is so if you're the rest of the ACC the commissioner can say what the commissioner wants to say he works for those member institutions if you're North Carolina State if you're like I said Virginia Boston College and the rest of the ACC you got to look around and say okay they leave we could go out there and add more teams but then we'd have to split the pie with them also. And the pie is going to get significantly smaller mm -hmm. because our two great programs, the two programs that bring in all the eyeballs and all the money, they're gone. So we're going to try and split a smaller pie with somebody else? No, 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 no. We don't think that's a good thing to do. We're not going to do that. Unless, unless they want to come in and take that SMU deal. And SMU can do that because SMU's got the, the oil money behind it. They can and they'll, pay their they'll way pay in. Their way right. And for a decade, I think, until the, the money evens itself out. I don't think Memphis can. No. SMU's got a FedEx a money's great. It's not oil. SMU's got a gaggle of boosters. Yeah. It's just FedEx for, for Memphis. Big, big time boosters with big time deep pockets. It's just FedEx for Memphis. And that money's not the same. So, again, Memphis fans and the University of Memphis, unfortunately, you missed it. You missed the arc. You've got to find some other way to, to make this work because you're not getting a seat on the ark and you're not getting a seat in one of these lifeboats that you, you brought up. You don't you think if to, Memphis was no. the group of five representative no. in the college football no. this year combined that they no. wouldn't have a chance? No. I think you have to hope that there's a chance. No, because it's and not about what are you doing? It's not about how good you are in football. It's about how much money your football team can bring in, how much interest Being there is. Being good in football, in football can help. Cincinnati, Cincinnati got on that boat. Because Cincinnati was able to ride recent football success. They got on the lifeboat. Yes, they did. Yes, they, they did. They didn't get in the ark. That ark, the door is shut on Noah's yeah, ark. Right. The, the ark is shut. They did get on a lifeboat. And they got in there. We're mixing UCF. metaphors. No, well, it's, it's, the same, it's the same thing. Noah's ark and then the lifeboat. Instead of the Titanic, I switched boats on you. We went Noah's ark. 
Um, I like the Titanic because the college sports landscape was not structurally sound enough to exist in this new era, much like the Titanic when it hit the iceberg, or the iceberg came up and eventually you couldn't avoid it anymore. <laughs> Gotta hop on that lifeboat. But whatever the analogy you wanna use is this. If you're not in the Big Ten and SEC, sorry, you're done. Right. As soon as they decide they're done playing around with you, they'll leave. <clears throat> And as soon as they stop doing this, hey, we don't want to be seen as a bad guy. We want everybody to, to exist. We, want, we don't want to eat conferences. As soon as they stop doing that shit, they're gone. All right? And so now it is, well, where's everybody else? Where does that leave you? And unfortunately for Memphis, I think that leaves them, that, that moment right there, SEC Big Ten leaving kind of leaves them out of not just those conferences, but – uh, the ACC and the Big 12 as well, mm -hmm. because again, why the hell would I want to split money with another team who's not bringing in any additional money? Like there's Memphis fans, while they are great and while when basketball gets the rolling, it's, it's one of the more fun environments in college sports. Yep. But that's not what's driving this is football. Yep. And while, yes, you can be good and that lead to interest. And that might lead to eventually getting into one of these other conferences. I, at what cost? It's, it's not being good at football is not going to be enough. The only thing that's going to get you into a conference. You know what else helps Cincinnati and South and Central Florida get into those conferences? The interest in their program. Did the interest come from winning? Absolutely. But there was just interest in that those programs. Also, being in Florida certainly helps Central Florida. Be having a footprint in Ohio certainly helps Cincinnati. And Cincinnati, correct me if I'm wrong, is a both of them are in larger media markets yes. as well. So I, you're you're in Cincinnati and Orlando. You're not in a small media market, but you're certainly smaller than those two. There is some interest in your football program, but it wasn't like those other two right. programs. It's unfortunate. It's sad. You've got to find another way to make this thing work. Because, again, you're not getting on the Titanic. And he, you can add Houston to Houston is larger in media market. Larger media yes. market. BYU, larger media market. Right? Like, yes. that, that, that is what is and driving this. And the whole religion this. behind BYU. That is what is driving this. Yes. That is what it is. Not being good at football. And Memphis, unfortunately, just doesn't have that going for it right now. The Jessica Benson Show with C.J. Hurt. Live every weekday at 8 a.m.